Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Well, I got a box in the mail sent to my P.O. box. And this was a trade that I did. Now, this is something I don't do very often. I don't do a lot of trades uh, for a variety of reasons. I'm not opposed to trades. It's just got to be a good situation for both parties. And sometimes that's hard to do, hard to, hard to set up. I was able to do this trade, and at this point, I'm not going to tell you who it was with. I'm just not sure they want me to. Now, if this person, you know, puts out a video with the trade I did with them and says that they got it from me, I mean, that's fine. I'm not really opposed to that. But it trades between two people, and uh, and we may or may not want to share. So at this point, I didn't ask if I could share, so I'm not going to. But why don't we see what I got? Check this out. All right, so let's get this cut open. Some nice packaging tape on there. I need to find out. I need to go to the store and buy some of this uh, fiber tape. I forget what the official name is, but this is really good for shipping. I need to have some of that. All right, so here we go. Let me uh, get it out of there. Wow, is that well packaged or what? And there's a note included, which I'm going to pull that out here and take a quick look. It says, TB, thanks for the trade. This is really great and rare, you know. It says what it is, which I'm going to show you momentarily. All right. So cool, nice nice little note enclosed. I didn't close a little note with mine, I probably should have. But uh, let me go ahead and cut this open. And uh, it's probably no big deal if I say who I got this from. Eh, I'll just tell you who I got it from. Just not going to tell what I traded for it. And it is from the one and only favorite member of our community, Mr. Silver Heist. This classic sticker, Silver Heist. And then this happened. All right. So I made a trade with Silver Heist. Uh, as you guys know, Silver Heist is awesome. It's got some great stuff. His channel has blown up over the past several months. It's gotten tons of subscribers. And he should because uh, he's got a great channel. Love it when he gets that chalkboard out. And uh, he does a really good explanation. A lot that other people don't do. So, what is it that I got here? Pull it out. There it is. Oh, people, you aren't going to believe it. I got the two ounce Libertad. Yes, folks. One of the two ounces that are very hard to get. Very low mintage. And sell for a ton of money now. And so, I really appreciate Silver Heist doing a trade with me. I didn't want to pull all that cash out to buy one in the secondary market. Um, I think you can still get them from my online bullion dealers, but they're charging a ton of money for them. So, you know what? I want to take it out of the flip. So I am going to put my gloves on. I don't do this very often, but this is a rare specimen nowadays. So let's not get our fingerprints all over it. Um, I'll have to see if they make a capsule for something like this, but look at this baby, huh? See it on the side. Two onzas. 2020. Is this nice or what? Let me see if I can easily zoom in. It works out better. There we go. All right. Is that a beautiful coin or what? Let me see if I can get my hand in it and try not to touch it with my other hand. There's the back side. I don't know. Maybe this is the obverse. I'm not really sure on these things. Ooh, she's a beauty. All right, so let me do this. Let me put that there. I'm going to put my other glove on. And I'm going to show you what it's like in comparison to the one ounce. Let's check out the difference in the sizes. So I was able to secure 10 of these one ounces for... A decent price, especially today. So there's the one ounce. Let me zoom back out, put them next to each other. 
So there's the difference in the sizes. Quite a bit. I don't want to scratch out this two ounce. I will just kind of show you. So yeah, pretty nice, huh? Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, got it. Let's look at the thickness. Yeah, there's a difference in the thickness. That's why it's not twice as round. So look at the two ounce is uh, thicker. Pretty cool, huh? Well, thank you, Silver Heist. I really appreciate you giving me an opportunity to get one of these. I missed it. I had a chance to order them, like most other people. When the opportunity was there, I didn't. And uh, it's disappointing that I didn't order it. But uh, at least I was able to get one, right? And I only have one, and that's okay. Potential flip opportunity, but I don't think I'm going to flip it. I'd rather keep it as part of my collection with my other Libertads. So, so yeah, I'm going to keep it. I think uh, Silver Heist did me a good deal on it for what I uh, what I traded them and what I paid for the, the trade material that I traded them. So it was a good deal for me, good deal for him. I think uh, he made money off the deal too. I think we both did okay. I'm not saying I made money off it. I'm just saying I, you know, I did I did fine, which is what a trade's supposed to be, right? We're both supposed to do well on a trade. One person shouldn't be profiting a bunch over another person on a trade. That's my humble opinion anyway. I think a trade needs to just be fair for both sides. I don't try to profit off of trades. I just try to make sure that there's an equivalent trade going on, and I think that happened here. So pretty cool, huh? So thank you, Silver Heist. I really appreciate it. Thanks for making this deal work. All right. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And always remember, let's keep talking bullion.